So I think he had a little anxiety and so did we about what exactly this is going to look like as far as the blended learning, how long would the in-person go? She did find it a little bit difficult to get into the school mode, not being on campus. Um, so that also helps solidify a, the good decision to actually be on campus and do, you know, take part in the in-person learning and the hybrid um, programming. No one's getting the same college experience, but um, at least, you know, they're on campus, they're learning, you know, some in person, some from their dorm room, but, um, you know, they're going with it with other people doing the same thing. The professors have adjusted to it. And I, I think they've done a really nice job of that. So even when there was a potential exposure, the professors with the labs quickly pivot and say, okay, well, all right, so you can't be on campus for X period of time. Let's cover this now. And then when you come back, we can cover that. So the faculty shown flexibility associated with that too. Part of college is socializing and meeting new people. And when you're not able to do that, or it's constrained, that makes it's pretty hard. That's been the hardest part is feeling like my daughter's missing out on some of the um, friendships and experiences that I was able to have in college. She misses the on-campus activities. Cheerleading can't get together in the same format. The sorority can't get together in the same format. The normal flow of social interaction, be it on campus or off campus, isn't happening. And I think that's a little that's tough. It's, it's not the college experience that you mentally think about, but by the same token, they're making it work. Um, Halloween, right? They're a group of engineers. They built a tube to shoot candy from the deck down to the front for the kids in the neighborhood that came by. I, it was a hard, really hard. I think as a parent, especially as mentioned, he has a twin sister who's also out of state school. And these are my only and first to go to college. So the whole thing has been high stress, but I think it is turning out to be high reward and we're glad that they both went forward with it. A lot of students kind of go through a sophomore slump and kind of face some challenges, but she seems to have more risen to the occasion. So that makes a parent feel good that they're in their zone and she's in the right place. This has done a really good job of um, kind of melding what they need to do to keep the community safe is with the health department and, and Jefferson County as well as kind of what their desire is on campus to have kids on campus and in-person learning opportunities. I think that they've struck a nice chord between um, working with all the community stakeholders on making that possible. Her academic experience has gone well up through this point. It's a scientific school. I believe they're making the right decisions given the data on hand, they're factual based decisions. And it's working well. I, I don't worry about her health in the Golden community or on the Mines campus. She loves Mines and I said, if you like it like this, then you're gonna love it when things are more normal. 